Today we take a look at the syncing results from Record Buddy 2 and Record Box DJ, Serato DJ, and Tractor Pro. All of that coming up. Thanks for watching P.TV where you find tips, tricks, and tutorials for DJs and music performers. Now let's get into the video. Okay, so one question I got in the comments of my previous video on Record Buddy 2 is how do the results look? in the three major DJ softwares, Serato DJ, Tractor Pro, and Rekordbox DJ. So first, let's take a look at what my library and my playlists that are synced look like in Record Buddy 2 one more time as a refresher. So right here, I have a need Record Buddy 2 tags. These are songs that I have, um, actually this is a playlist that I have in Serato DJ, which is my main DJ software, that need um, Record Buddy 2 tags added to them. So I go ahead and throw new songs into this playlist and when I sync it with Record Buddy 2 the new songs pop up and then I can go ahead and tag them using the tag fun function that I described earlier in another video and then I can just sync it back and everything will be synced up and the tags will be included. So it's a nifty way of figuring out what needs to be done in which software is, is that since the, the sync works backwards and forwards you can do things like this where if you have songs in a certain software that need work in Record Buddy 2, just go ahead and add it to a playlist and then when you sync back in Record Buddy 2, it'll show up and you can work on those songs. So I have that playlist and then I have my main smart playlist uh, listed under open format and then what I also did was I used a filter and I'm filtering by <clears throat> the different types this tag right here so as you can see party backpack remix and then of course no type which is all the songs that don't fit into these three categories this isn't necessarily uh... the way i would have my music sync this is just to show you guys that i have a smart playlist that i made in record buddy 2 using these rules right here and then i went ahead and used one of the uh, use one of the features in Record Buddy 2 in using the filters by using the tag. So I'm filtering by tag here. So these are actually filtered by tags that I created just in Record Buddy 2. So having this playlist can only be achieved by using Record Buddy 2 as the way to create this playlist and sub playlist or crates and sub crates. So now that we see this form format right here, let's open up the first software. I'm going to go ahead and start off with Serato DJ. So here in Serato DJ, you can see that I have, you know, your normal three selections here at the top. Then I still have iTunes synced. And then you'll see that I have my Need Record Buddy 2 tags playlist here that I was describing. And then the same open format smart playlist and the filtered types right here. So in Serato DJ, it just shows up as one... Um, it shows up as one crate and then all the other filtered playlists shows, show up as sub crates. So as you can see they're the exact same, all the same songs here. So pretty easy to see and straight to the point. Now let's open up Tractor. So here's what Tractor looks like when you load it. The playlists that are created in Record Buddy 2 will actually be found under this playlist folder right here. So if we go ahead and expand that out you'll see the same need record buddy 2 tags that's synced across as well as my open format smart playlist and then the sub playlist underneath but one difference is that uh, Tractor doesn't allow for sub playlists the way that Serato DJ does so the actual um, root playlist the smart playlist of open format which is where these sub uh, playlists or these uh, filter playlists come from actually shows up as a folder as you can see right here so because of that Tractor doesn't recognize this as an actual playlist it only recognizes it as a folder because it needs to house these filter playlists beneath it so that's something to keep in mind that if you plan on doing this and using Tractor that unlike in Serato where you can click on open format right here it'll open up and it'll have your whole library 
that's not possible in Tractor. So you, if Tractor is your main software, you might want to have a clone playlist, which I also described, as just being an open format playlist by itself, so you have access to that while still having the ability to use the filters as sub-playlists. Now let's check out Recordbox. So here's Recordbox DJ. So like the playlist folder in Tractor Pro, you can find the Record Buddy playlist under this right here, Recordbox XML. So go ahead and ex expand that out. You'll see you have access to all tracks, which is nice. And then in under playlist, right here, this subfolder, same thing where you get the need Record Buddy 2 tags that's synced across, as well as these tags right here and the open format smart playlist shows up as a folder just like in Tractor and unfortunately you don't get to use this as a playlist it's just a folder just like in Tractor but you do get ac access to the filter playlist underneath it but the only difference is that in record box you do get this all tracks right here so you don't have to actually make a copy of a playlist of all of your library. It's all housed right here, which is nice. So you get a little bit of both kind of flexibilities of Serato DJ and Tractor Pro where it's in folders all nicely organized, but you still have access to all your tracks without having to clone your entire um, library, which is nice. So as you can see in the three softwares, it's pretty easy to spot the different playlists that you created in Record Buddy 2. Really easy to access and the sync works straight across and they're all synced up all together and it's just an easy way to have access to all your music in the three major softwares like I've been saying and creating playlists and having them synced across is a godsend if you're working in multiple softwares. So that's what the singing results look like in Record Buddy 2 in the three major softwares. So question of the day, does Record Buddy 2 make you want to try more than one DJ software? Go ahead and leave that down in the comments below. And as always, if you found this video useful, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And thank you for watching P.TV where you'll find tips, tricks, and tutorials for DJs and music performers. See you next time.